Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Um, we're going to jump right into the messages. If you guys want to contact me for anything, reach out. You have a question for anything, my information is going to be down below, okay? All right. What are the messages that we need at this given time? Whoever watches this video at any given time, any part of the world, whatever. What are the messages that are going to be resonate for you? <laughs> what are the messages? You set your intentions and watch how things start to blossom as the fall season come, which that is that is a message that has um that has been coming through. What is the message that we need right now? We got the tarot card guidance using your cards. Some of you guys are readers, you read for yourself, using your cards to guide you in your decisions and to also give you clarity and insight on certain things that you may be unclear about. It's okay to go to the car as long as you're using them in the right way, okay? We're banishing all energy, all self-doubt, all uh, thought patterns, all um, addictions, all... Uh, some of you guys have sexual ties with people. We're banishing all those things that are holding you down. Um, that are not uplifting to your soul mission, that are not serving the highest purpose, and that is leveling you up with or, or aligning. There we go. Aligning you with your highest self. OK. Some of you guys need to brew some herbs together, get a pot. Could you imagine how aromatic that would be in your home? But that's also going to help you get whatever herbs you have. Um, I, I'm looking at mine's right here, but get whatever herbs you have and put them in a pot with some clean distilled water or some spring water and boil these. Don't use tap water. I feel like somebody's going to use tap water. Don't use no tap water. No, no, no. It's dirty, y'all. Y'all know that. So use some type of clean bottled water. Okay. And uh, banishing, you are the hex. Some of this is saying that you are the hex. Some of you guys have been thinking that there's been some hex against you. You guys have just not been aligning with the proper energy, with the energy that is for you at this time in your life. It's nothing that is coming against you. You guys are too protected. Some of you guys are very like you have a a, a slew of ancestors of spirit guys like. Uh, energies that are around you there is nothing that can penetrate that energy especially these little weak vessels that be trying to do that only <laughs> a weak vessel will try to do that you see so even without the protection they wouldn't be able to come against you in and come towards you any daggone way you see what I'm saying? So this is saying that you've been that hex, okay? There is a rebirth. There is a transformative energy that is very, 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 very strong here for you. And then it's time for you to go towards your abundance. It's time for you to move towards your prosperity and stop fucking playing. Because it's all for you and nothing less. You deserve it all and you have to believe that. You have to know that. You have to understand that. You have to align with that. It's not just trying to convince yourself like, okay, I know I deserve this. Indigo said, so and so said, this is what I deserve. Pump that. If you have to speak mantras, affirmations, whatever, but you say it with conviction. I am successful. I am wealthy. I am well protected as far as my loved ones and my belongings. I say I am moving towards a. You have to speak it from your gut. You have to believe it. You can't be like, OK, I just have to trust. You can't do that. That's that old mindset. That's that old conditioning. That's that old way of being. You have to speak it. You have to know it. You have to align with it. Nothing less. You get what I'm saying? Alrighty. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What are the messages? I gotta give me another card. I want the same deck. I love this this but I just because yeah. All right, what are the messages? Okay. We got it coming. We got it coming. We got it coming. What is it that we got it coming? Because we're listening to our higher selves, letting that tower fall, letting those power moments happen with grace. What are the messages that we need right now? 
What are the messages that we don't run from them tower moments? They're there for you. Some of you guys, those tower moments are there to protect you. Look, the tower card came out. Those tower moments are there to ascend you. Those tower, those tower moments work in your favor. Don't ever be scared of a tower moment. Don't ever be afraid of what's that because you don't have to, okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of cups. Some of you guys are in this daisy type of lackadaisical, not lackadaisical, but kind of some of you guys could be, but in this daisy, phasey, fuzzy energy because you're in the energy, you're in the go mode to move. You Even though you may not understand or understand exactly what's transpiring, you in that energy, but you kind of focus because you're following the divine guidance with this judgment card. You're finally listening to and you're listening to the knowing of you being the magician the master manifester in your life you know that everything has a season everything has a place everybody has a position everybody has something going on even the evil in the world they have their own position but you're not supposed to let the evil win that's not what you know what i'm saying but everything has a position and you know at this juncture in your life it is time to push forward it is time to manifest it's time to get kicked them gears in and, and and go the queen of wands is out she was out yesterday in a tiktok reading the queen of wands is passion she's forward movement she's leo energy some of you guys can have very strong some of you guys may even be realizing like i resonate more with leo like for some of you guys like air fire sign like i feel like that's for y'all ten of pentacles is watching the money come in for you guys some of you guys this was tied into a childhood friend a childhood lover that you needed to forgive and see the big picture i just saw 636 having to do with family things working out this is a co-parenting situation y'all know this it, part of this card is my co-parenting card you're working more with the other sign this could be an earth sign towards capricorn or virgo or this somebody who is very grounded they, they're very um grounded this could be your energy as well for some of you guys there is this tower card here we're talking about some of you guys acknowledging the things that need to fall out of your life what are you talking about with this tower card there's some major disruption this feels like i, I you know what damn what's going on and uh Okay, this is what I want you to do, you guys. I want us to get together. If I can collectively come on here on live, hopefully, because my computer be tripping, y'all. But we need to get together and send some good energy to Louisiana, what they're experiencing, because this is giving me that energy. And I feel like some of you guys may may or may know people that 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 are um are going through something like um uh like um, some type of storm or something. So let's clarify this tower card because we want to send them all the good energy. We want to send them everything. We need to collectively get together and do this. What is this tower card? This tower card is 10 of wands. We have the burden of what needs to fall over our life over here with this 10 of pentacles. And it could have to do, like I said, because that gives me the energy of um, uh, co-parenting that energy right so this is burdensome whatever this is justice the four of wands some of you guys this has to do with a home situation there is justice you're shooting your shot you're make putting your effort into certain things into moving forward into whatever it is when it comes to your home but there's some indecisive maybe some of you guys have two choices about where you're going to move about where you're going to live and that's causing a great deal of energy y'all causing that shit it's not that it's supposed to be that way for you. It's just that you in your head so much, especially with this two of swords, unable to make a decision. Some of you guys, somebody has to make a decision between two air signs, Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. Somebody has that. Now, that's for probably one person, a, a fair skinned person and a brown skinned person. Somebody has um, to figure out what they're going to do. Like, OK, I don't know. I can't, you know, and this could have to do with a Leo because this queen of wands is standing out. This is the energy that somebody finds somebody very sexy, very alluring very passionate very driven very ambitious it's that type of energy but somebody is in their head this could have to do with a home situation there is some justice here but this is the thing some of y'all don't even realize how this situation is working for you how everything is moving in a positive momentum but because you're so stuck in your head so you're not even seeing how this is shifting in your favor the universe already shifted actually it's already shifted the justice card is here some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra specifically. The four of wands is your home. Some of you guys are having a massive transformation in your physical body. Your body is rebooting. Your cells are rebooting. Everything is just kind of shifting and turning and working in your favor. And some of you guys are needing to really be in this energy of great, great gratitude as opposed to being here. 
This is the energy you're in. You're not supposed to be in there. Your fear. This is the fear. Some of you guys needing to make a decision. This giving me more fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like there's somebody who is going to come back from your past that's going to disrupt. If you have somebody new in your sphere and this person is intuitive, there's going to be somebody who's going to try to come back and try to stop you. Don't let it. This is the results um, and the reward of your positive uh you know your manifestation basically okay the autumn is a very pivotal uh, uh season for a lot of you guys let me get one advice card for my watchers oh what am i name is one card of advice please one card of advice one card of advice Ooh. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. Leave it with. Okay. For some of you guys, watch your spending. Contain yourself when it comes to your money. Continue to save. Continue to nurture yourself. Continue to watch yourself. Do not get into the. Um, hold on. Don't get into the. Um, the energy of giving more. Than you than than a person deserves, if that makes sense. Just fall back. Leave whatever that has left your your house. Okay, okay. This does have to do with money. This has to do with money. Claire, let me see. Give, give me one more card to go with this Five of Pentacles. One more card to go with this Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's trying to come back from your past. Could be this air energy. Somebody where there was a lot of deceit. There's somebody where this person or you spoke from a very um, straightforward type of energy. This is a Knight of Cups, a Cancer, um, Scorpio, or a Pisces. And they're saying for some of you guys to leave this out. This is the clarifiers for this card. Some of you guys are definitely needing to cut this person out. Because this person is only here for this. They're like a temporary type of fix. They're a temporary person. And there's somebody in your energy who is more permanent, who has a more sustaining type of energy. You know, it's like I'm getting this, like hooks energy. Uh, maybe somebody wants to stay for the long haul. Maybe this person wants to put their hooks in you so you won't be going moving forward because somebody is very intuitive. All right. I love you guys. Peace. Take care.